Hey guys, tonight's movie review is for The Longest Ride, starring Britt Robertson and Scott Eastwood. A little bit about this movie, this is a another Nicholas Sparks film adaption uh, from one of his novels, and um, it centers around two characters, Luke, played by Scott Eastwood, and Sophia, played by Britt Robertson. And um, they meet near the beginning of the movie, uh, Luke is a famous bull rider who is kind of coming back up on the circuit after a really bad accident a year ago. And Sophia is a college student who's about to graduate and has this great internship opportunity in New York City. So um, she meets uh, Scott Eastwood's character at a rodeo and they connect and basically on their first date they have a really great time, a really great connection, but they know it's not going anywhere because she's going to be moving in a couple months. So on the ride home from that first date, um, fate kind of intervenes. They see that there's been a car accident and Luke goes to the car and saves an old man from the burning car and Sophia gets a box of a box that the man wants her to retrieve. And um, it turns out to be a box of letters love letters between this old man and um, this woman who Ruth and um, as the movie goes along you kind of see Luke and Sophia's relationship develop and um, their feelings for each other develop as well as problems you know is he gonna keep on riding the rodeo because it's so dangerous and so much risk with so little reward is Sophia gonna pursue her internship, pursue her dreams, or stay to be with Luke? You have that going on, while at the same time, um, Sophia goes to visit this old man, played by Alan Alda, and he kind of, she's reading all these letters, and it goes all these flashbacks with his relationship with his wife, Ruth, and um, the good times and the hardships that he had with his wife. And that's kind of what the movie's about, is the flashbacks of this older relationship and this new relationship, and how some of them have some of the same themes going on, and um, kind of uh, the themes of love and loss and sacrifice and what all those kind of things mean. That's pretty much what this film's about. Um, as far as the story, I, I like the story. Um, I, I thought that it it was an interesting enough story um, and if it had been executed very well I think it would have been a really great movie I don't think the execution was quite there um, a lot of the flashbacks didn't necessarily tie in very well with what was happening in the story it just the whole flow of the movie didn't work that well for me personally um, as far as the acting I think um, Scott Eatwood Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson both did a pretty good job. Um, Scott <laughs> didn't come out of his, his father's shadow very much. This is still kind of similar to Clint Eastwood kind of character, a bull rider, cowboy kind of thing. So it'll be interesting to see what other kind of roles he takes and if he's able to kind of establish himself on his own. But I think he definitely did a respectable job here. Um, it was really nice to see Alan Alda in something and, you know, he's a great actor and of course was great in this as well. Um, the only acting that I could really complain about is the flashback scenes, his wife, Ruth, um, she was supposed to be European and I just didn't think her accent was very believable. It kind of seemed forced and almost took me out of the scenes sometimes just because it was so forced. Um, but other than that, can't really complain too much about the acting. Um, overall, I would give this movie um, a B minus. I feel like, uh, it, you know, it still doesn't match A Walk to Remember or The Notebook as far as Nicholas Sparks adaptations. Um, it, it, it was decent, but there were definitely the emotions were forced. It, you could feel they wanted you to laugh here. They wanted you to cry here. It just, it was very contrived and didn't come to those things naturally, unfortunately. 
So um, that's all I got. If you're really into Nicholas Sparks movies and books and that kind of stuff, you'll probably enjoy this. Um, but stepping back and looking at it as a movie as a whole, it was it was just okay. It's a B minus. That's all I've got for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like what you heard, please subscribe below to hear more. And I hope you guys have a great night. Bye.